the Lord said, As he entered the world, behold, I come to do your will, O God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, good morning, and welcome to our Wednesday devotion. Today, the 25th day of March, in the year of our Lord and Savior 2020, we celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh, in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man, may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. My dear friend, allow me now to share with you the gospel of the day. You will conceive in your womb and bear a son. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. We are reading from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. At that time, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I know not man? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kinswoman Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The Gospel of our Lord. My dear friend, today as we celebrate the Annunciation of the Lord, I want to share with you some three lessons we can learn from Martha Mary on this day. Number one, be prepared to be used by God. Much as you'd have felt a bit uncomfortable, her fiat, her fiat, may it be done to me according to your word. Mother Mary was ready always to be used by God. And that is a challenge for all of us, whether we are religious men and women or even laity. The question I want to ask you 
as my friend, as my brother, as my sister is, are you prepared to be used by God? Lesson number two, put your faith in God. Put your faith in God. You see, sometimes things happen, difficult sometimes, but we need always to have our faith in God, not in our money, not in our education, not in our big families, not even in our achievements. Our faith must always be put in God. And this I say with a lot of cautiousness, and especially this time that we are faced with this calamity of coronavirus. Whatever it is that we are going through, whatever it is that we are facing as nations and as individuals, we must put our faith in God. I thank God that the country's leadership saw it fit on Saturday the 21st to have the National Day of Prayer. How I would pray that this becomes our response, our first line of response. Every time we are faced either by calamities, even in moments of breakthroughs and success and even times of harvest. Lesson number three, live your life as a servant of the Lord. This I love. Live your life as a servant of the Lord. Wherever it is that you are, be a servant of the Lord. In your family, be a servant of the Lord. In, the, in your apostolate, as a man of God, like Father C.K., be a servant of the Lord. For those of you who are religious men and women, brothers and our, our nuns and sisters, be a servant of the Lord. For husbands and wives, servant of the Lord. For moms and dads, be a servant of the Lord. For those of you who are, who are in positions of leadership, government and civil, and private, be a servant of the Lord. Not a, not a servant of the world or the people or individuals or anything else, but be a servant of the Lord. Wherever you go, be a servant of the Lord. In times of happiness, be a servant of the Lord. In times of pain and doubt, be a servant of the Lord. Always. Thank you. Let us pray. Confirm in your minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May your servant be shielded, O Lord, by the protection of your loving kindness, that doing what is good in this world, they may reach you their highest good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Wednesday. Asante sana.